Hello my dear Janasenics. Being a devoted Janasenic, I want to say a few words to all of you. Election commission has been severely compromised. The main cause Pawan Kalyan has been defeated is not because of Jagan's credibility, but because of his father's untimely death and his defeat in 2014 elections. The next cause is TDP's failure and anti-incumbent votes which were attracted by Jagan. It is only because most people wanted to give one chance to Jagan as CM, so they overlooked his criminal record and chose him instead of Pawan Kalyan, who maintains a positive character. One more major cause is the community hatred towards TDP that gave Jagan maximum votes. People also believe that Pawan Kalyan will support or merge with TDP if they choose him as their leader. The whole B team concept was successfully worked out in favor of Jagan and his team. Also the silence of TDP made people believe in that concept. Instead of condemning the concept, TDP was silent as it was favoring TDP too. We couldn't give strong reply about this concept due to lack of support from the media. The last and most important cause was money. Jagan invested huge amounts of money during the campaign whereas we don't have many resources and our leader never encouraged money politics. Considering all these causes, I don't believe this is a failure of Pawan Kalyan. Pawan Kalyan's goal is 25 years long and has not been affected by the loss in this election. Whatever advice you give is already evaluated much before elections. One thing everybody should remember is success has many fathers but failure is an orphan. Here, I am able to take my part of responsibility for the failure of Janasena party. If you also can take the responsibility for the failure, then do it. It took me two years to accept Pawan Kalyan as a great visionary and three years to accept him as my leader. Once I accept him as my leader, I didn't find any faults in him or in the party. And I'll do my best for the party. If my leader is successful, then I am successful. If he fails, then I am ready to take responsibility. If he commits any mistake, I am ready to give up my life because I accepted him as my leader. Other than corrupted Jagan, who do you think is the one for Andhra Pradesh? It is Pavan Kalyan, one and only. Remember, it took Vyash Rajshagar Reddy 28 years to become CM of Andhra Pradesh. It took 23 years for Imran Khan to become the President of Pakistan. Never take examples of NTR or someone who became CM in short time. Kalyan has great patience and that is one of the main qualities a leader needs. We need to have great patience to follow him. A leader needs people and also people needs the leader. Always fill the wounded cat up with positive and inspiring videos, not with critical analysis. You guys accept or not, Pawan Kalyan is the only hope for Andhra Pradesh. He will never give up until he wins. Never be disappointed by the failure, it is just a pause. Have patience and wait for a couple of months before giving any kind of suggestions. There is nothing wrong in giving suggestions, but one needs a deep understanding and a proper analysis to suggest something to someone. As for my part, I did my job for the party. Our aim and goal is not to defeat Jagan but to serve people. Hence, stay happy and encourage only constructive criticism. And remember, Pawan Kalyan is a relentless warrior. He is not going to quit politics under any circumstances. We just have to remember one thing. People are suffering with vote for note virus. We injected an antivirus. It will take some time to heal. Just give it that time. Just give that time. It is going to happen. See you soon guys. We'll come in touch with you as soon as possible. Jai Hind. Hi, this is Siddhi Idnani and please do subscribe to New Waves.